the old-fashioned way, also happens to be slightly lazy. Basically, I'm going through checking to see if any of this stuff is andesite. I'm checking to see if any of this stuff is gravel. If it is, the item stacks, which I have on my person, will fill up when double tapped because that is the shortcut to collect. It appears as though it was a single incident. Uh-oh, that one's empty. That one is also empty. That one is not empty. Okay, well... All the more reason why I am setting up this filtration system, which will allow me to easily navigate through all of the different barrels with ease. Okay. Retrieve the andesite, deposit the gravel. Polished granite. Polished diorite. And polished andesite. Now we want to deposit the granite as well as depositing the andesite. And the diorite. Additionally, we shall take this opportunity to deposit the coal, iron, and lapis, which we've collected. That makes it much easier for us to collect these materials. and deposit all of this down very easily. Doot, 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 doot. Now I want to pick up this stone in order to have it on hand for when I need to deposit it. 
as for when that's going to be right away. some gravel stored in the wrong location, apparently. Oops, that was an accident entirely. <laughs> Okay, that has definitely helped open the place up a lot. Now, keep in mind, the storage is still at this capacity. It's just my, uh, my visible storage is being adjusted. Everything's still, like, able to be stored. It's just now I can, you know, walk in this area. <laughs> in addition to the fact that I can now make use of this uh, this lovely view. The cobblestone I fully expect to be properly stocked. Yep, looks like it, looks like it.
Yeah, I have been busy these last 337 episodes, <laughs> approximately. As you can tell, wait, yeah, okay. Yeah, as you can tell, there is a lot of storage dedicated to cobblestone. And the reason for that is because I've just been storing it all. I get a resource, I store the resource. Not a very complicated equation. Actually, isn't this one... Yeah, this one's all the way down here. Which means this one should not mind if this happens. It doesn't look like it did. Yay, no dirt went flying everywhere. Kept everything nice and clean and neatly organized. We've got moss. Which is one of the newer uh one of the newer blocks. It is able to be used in composting. Oops. I shall fix that. This way. There we go. Got it fixed. Okay. Now I need to find out where that minecart wandered off to. Is it there? No. There? No. Uh, probably one of these. There it is. Okay. Is there anything else I want to do here? Um, I think I will save the harvesting of the ore for after I have completed the uh, Minecraft, or sorry, the, uh, the, the villager trading hall. We're in Minecraft. <laughs> Um, I think I might have wanted more stone, which means I need to make a U-turn, basically. I'll actually get the, oh no, I'll, I'll leave those in the inventory. I was going to say I'll get the cart ready, but as soon as I pick this one up, it's going to do that exact same thing, so I didn't even need to 
grab them out of my inventory. Hello, little slime. Goodbye, little slime. They look so happy, bouncing around. <laughs> now I want to retrieve that minecart, place it on that side of the cactus, and take off in this direction. to pick up the minecart out of this storage barrel. Uh, let's see, stone, I need stone. I will take four stacks. Uh, actually make it five, just to be sure. this destination, I can place the minecart and go over to the storage area of this destination. Pick up the minecart again. I always pick up the minecart, unless I leave it stored in a storage barrel which point that's in a storage barrel. Then I don't need to pick up the minecart. Okay, I might have gone a little bit overboard on the amount of stone that I needed. But, or wanted, I should say. But, as you can see, everything worked out very nicely.
yeah, yeah. Battery low, I know. It's because I haven't had my phone on the charger for a very long time. But, I can very easily fix that in under a minute. First, however, I would like to finish my excavations. I have more than enough energy available to finish digging out this area here. I need to carve this wall out anyways, I will just leave those sections like that. Oops, didn't mean to dig up there, but I got that patched up real nicely. But that's not a problem. this resource. Now, I believe this area is properly primed for getting some villagers. suffering minute amount of damage to my boots, not so much to my character.
seeing any other ore deposits in the ceiling here. Which is very good. Because we have a lot of ore to return to base with. Okay. See if we can return to base with maximum velocity. Yay, it worked. Okay, now whilst we are doing that, let's polish this granite. Polish this andesite. Make sure we're fed. We'll leave the minecart there for now. of the dirt. It's already saving us time. <laughs> oh boy. Lots of stone to deposit. skeleton farm, did I? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, now, a lot of this material will get used up very quickly because I plan to, once I get mending on my tools and armor, I plan to go through and kind of replace the uh, ground here with half slabs. I plan to go through and work on the underground section. I plan to push this southern wall all the way back to uh, Z equals zero. Um, because I realized how close I was to Z equals zero. like. Literally, the chunk boundary is on the other side of these blocks. Uh, like, right on the other side of those blocks. Specifically, it's right there. <laughs> That's the chunk boundary. Because I'm on the negatives, so it starts at negative one. 
uh, and then goes to negative 16, and I was at negative 17 for that rail line, which means, yeah, it was very, very close. Um, the next thing I need, I do believe, is I need to set up the contraption for receiving the villagers. Additionally, I want to collect this obsidian because it's kind of been bugging me how it's just been the only piece of obsidian around for, like, a very long ways. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Let's try... This is just barely wide enough. Did I need it wider? Tell you what, I will stop recording here. I'll upload these videos. <clears throat> I'll, retrieve, I'll retrieve a bunch more uh, stone brick first because that's what I'm going to be using to build the villager uh, the villager pen where I will be storing these villagers and then actually first I'm going to lay out the ore for me to collect maybe next episode maybe this episode we'll see how long it takes if it takes me like 10 minutes to lay out all the ore yeah, I'll do it next episode, but if it doesn't, then I'll do it this episode. Uh, but first, I need to deposit a few things. I need to deposit the stone. I need to, very quickly, swim up here in order to deposit this obsidian because the only time I would be using obsidian is one of two reasons. Since I already have another portal installed and very well guarded, I believe I want to reserve the obsidian for uh, flying machines. Um, I want to check on the kelp farm. That's why I was being indecisive about just now. I'm like, do I want to check on it or do I not want to check on it? Turned out I really wanted to check on it because for whatever reason, it stopped. Oh my, it appears it didn't stop because it ran out of fuel. It stopped because it ran out of things for the fuel to cook. Meaning it's... Uh, it's actually finally out of kelp. It took like a dozen episodes or more, but it finally ran out of kelp. What do you know? Huh. Nifty. Anyways, now I can cook things like regular. I want to go over here. Up in the water. <clears throat> I am looking forward to having mending on all of my armor once more. I'm looking forward to having uh, mending on all of my tools once more because that's a very useful thing to have. It's just 
mending on your tools. That's just useful. <laughs> Doesn't really matter how you phrase it, it's just useful. Um, I will actually just empty out this entire storage barrel. Uh, I will leave this storage barrel with... I'll leave one stack so I don't like go, well, what's it doing here? And then collect it and then realize, oh, that's what it was doing there. <laughs> no, instead I'm, I'm gonna leave one stack in it and just be like, oh, okay, I guess there's one stack. A little bit of uh, mental gymnastics around my future observations. But yeah, like there's a there's a chunk boundary either right there or right there, and I forget which. I think it's actually right here. <coughs> yeah, that's right. It is right here. So it's not right there, like I thought. It's literally this wall is the chunk boundary. This rail is built on the chunk boundary. Just retrieve this minecart. Um, oh, I never laid out those ores, did I? Let me hop in the minecart and take off. Once again. Da 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 da! Try! If you get that preference, you are fairly odd. Um, yeah. Anyways, I want to lay out all of the ore that I'm going to be processing at the start of next episode. And once I have all of the ore laid out, I will want to have... A lot of materials uh, set aside to basically just process everything. Uh, I will go here to avoid the chunk boundary. I'm just kind of laying it out in a two by two line in order to provide myself the maximum amount of uh, you know, or processing speed, basically. Okay. That is my phone letting me know that it is at 5% battery, but I will be done recording before before it reaches zero. No worries. Okay, now for the gold. Now for the redstone ore, which is actually not very much. This time around, for once. <laughs> Okay, uh, anyway, I will stop recording here, I'm going to start uploading these videos to YouTube, and then, uh, I could start harvesting. But then, what would you comment in the next video? Tell you what, leave a comment on this video. Tell me how much ore you think I'll have next video. I'm going to be using my subscribe pickaxe, obviously. You know, there's a decent clip of ore here. 
That's actually a pretty decent screenshot right there. <laughs> Oops, turned off my screen on accident. Ah, I got the screenshot. Okay, yeah, let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> this time, preferably without turning off my screen. Wait for it to load. Okay, now if I do this. Uh huh. There we go. A proper screenshot. Uh, anyways, if you want to see more uh, content like this, like comment, subscribe. If you want something to comment about, uh, tell me how much of the various resources you think I will be receiving from the massive clip of ore that I have uh, loaded here, ready for processing. As you can see, there's a lot of iron, a lot of coal, a bit of gold, some emerald, some redstone, some lapis, Mostly it's just coal and iron. So you probably want to guess high on those numbers. But uh, let me know how much you think I'll get. Uh, and then I guess next episode we shall see just how much I get. Whilst at it, we can actually deposit some of this ore in advance some of this material in advance because we're going to need to have storage capacity for all of this ore that we're about to harvest. Uh, therefore, you know, we're, we're going to want to have somewhere to store it all. Let's actually put that there. Oops. Let's actually swap that with lanterns because I have zero reason for having lanterns in there. There might be a reason I'd have stone brick in there, but there would be zero reason for having three lanterns in there. Uh, anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, uh, let me know what you think. I will try not to take forever to get to the next set of episodes, but I upload these in batches. I also have a tendency to live stream every now and then. I have a game coming up on Thursday and Friday, D&D, so I gotta like prepare my character sheet for that, because I got one who's playing, uh, who is called Doc Yo. And I play him as though he's uh, he's basically based on the personality of Johnny Bravo, which if you're not familiar with Johnny Bravo, you might recognize his most common sound effect from the TV show. That's <laughs> uh, him pulling out a comb and then uh, proceeding to comb his. Uh, I can't remember what that pompadour it's his pompadour he's combing, which is this big poofy hairstyle that uh, basically puts a giant bundle of hair in front and above where you can see, which I never understood. I don't get the hairstyle. I don't understand it. But um, I shall see you guys next episode. So stay safe over there, okay? understand that you know we're all working we're all doing all this stuff to try and you know stay sane during the various uh, issues with the pandemic um, so you know try and stay safe remember to wear your mask 
if you're sick, wear a mask. If you're not sick, wear a mask so you don't get sick. Even if you've been immunized, remember, immunization just means you have an insanely reduced chance to catch it. It does not mean you are immune. So if you're immunized, yes, you don't need a mask, but you still want a mask because while it is, you know, let's say 90% effective or let's, let's, be extremely generous in favor of the virus on this estimate. Let's say it's only 60% effective, which I think there's like one version of the immunization that was 60% effective and they don't even give that out. Like they, they didn't even ship it. No one would buy it. Some countries might have bought it, but nowhere in the U.S. purchased that vaccine. Um, but like, even if it is 60% effective at, you know, granting immunity, um, a mask is like 95% effective. Uh, like, yeah, it's not perfect, but it does greatly reduce your chances of catching it. And also it's good for your lungs because, you know, you're filtering the air that you're breathing in. So... Uh, you know, I'll stop the video here so that I'm not just blathering on standing here looking at my my vast amount of ore. Uh, but, uh, you know, remember to stay safe out there. And, you know, if you are sick, don't get others sick. If you're not sick, uh, wear a mask so you don't get sick. Um, I haven't been immunized or caught the... Uh, the Rona, as it's sometimes referenced, the coronavirus. I've not caught it yet uh, that I am aware of. Uh, no one I know has caught it, almost. There there has been a few people I know that caught it, but they were, like, hospitalized in the ICU, and they spent about a week getting better, and then people started hearing from them again, and Everyone was like, where'd you go? And he was like, oh, I caught the coronavirus and it really wiped me out. It's like, oh my, that's terrible. Um, but they're doing better now. So, uh, you know, make sure you keep yourself safe. Uh, make sure you keep yourself uh, protected. You don't want to get sick. You don't want to get others sick. You don't want others getting you sick. And others don't want you getting them sick. So, you know, it really does help to make sure to protect yourself, make sure to wear any mask every time you go out, uh, you know, wear a mask, make sure you, uh, you know, make sure you, you stay protected. It's very worthwhile. It's very much worth it. Uh, you gain more productivity by staying safe than you do by risking it. You know? Um, and remember to save your work often as well. Uh, with that, I shall end the video. Uh, I haven't really thought of anything to say as an outro like certain YouTube uh, content creators, but... Uh, uh, I'll, I'll just end it with uh, remember to stay safe out there because, you know, we're all in this together. So because of that, I'm rooting for you.